So this is my process for balancing chucks. What I do is I take a straight rod and chuck it up and dial it in. And I've done that already. Uh, it's not running perfectly true anymore because I've taken the chuck off. And then I take it over to a static balancer, which I'll show in just a second. And I glue in weights on the light side at the plane where I intend to drill it. You see the chuck already has one balancing hole right there. And I have my weights opposite of that. And I've glued in six washers with hot glue. So if I run this, 750 RPM, and the lathe is running pretty nice and steady. So the next step in this process is to take our two glued on weights and balance them and figure out how much so we can get a, a weight in grams and calculate how much cast iron we need to drill out. So we're balanced out now and we have 48.221 grams. That's how much our washer stack is. So what we need to do now is um, take the density of cast iron and calculate that. All right, so I've done the math and using the density of cast iron at 7.51 grams per cubic centimeter, I come out that I need to drill with a 916 drill bit, 1.374 inches deep. So what I'm gonna do is split that into two holes, uh, both about 11 16 deep, and I'm gonna drill one to full depth and then the other to half depth and then check it and see how close it is. You can see how I've got it mounted here. I've got four risers, and then those risers are clamped down, and I've got a connector nut in there and some risers and got it toe clamped down. I have not removed the rod which was in there which I put in there when I first indicated the chuck in. That's important you need to be able to leave the rod in the entire process and I've removed the weights. You can see the weights were sitting right there meaning I need to drill opposite of that. I need to drill basically where they did but I can't quite do that so I'm going to put one hole here and then my next hole will either be there or there, depending on how it balances out. So this is our first hole, it's 9 16 and it needs to be 11 16 deep. So I've got a dial travel indicator hooked up to check my depth. Instead of letting the drill fully establish or starting the depth with it just touching, I went to about halfway in between. Alright, so I put the first hole here. I think I'll put the second one here. I might should check first. But uh, I think I'll go ahead and put it there. Okay, now I gotta vacuum all those chips out and we'll check it on the balancer. So the goal here on the static balancer is that anywhere you put it, it should just sit and stop. It should never have any tendency to roll around. So we got the light, what was the light side up now. So let's turn that around to the bottom and see what happens. It's moving, but very slowly, so we're close. It's definitely still got an imbalance to it. Alright, 
light sides back up top, even though we started with it on the bottom. Um, our drill holes are still down. So let's try it in a couple other positions. So we'll put light to the back and see if it turns back to the same spot. So we want to make sure here at this stage um, that we don't go the other way. We don't go the wrong way. Lights back on top. Turn the light side to the front. More to do. That, that's pretty obvious. So I don't want to move the camera again, but I'm going to put it back on. I'm going to take it from 400,000 steps up to the um, up to about 600, and then we'll see if we need to to come back and finish the 85,000s. Okay, so we drilled another 200,000s out of the hole. Accidentally went with the already two depth hole, but it doesn't matter. Um, so let's see how it is now. So find our light area. There's our light area, which was light before. And certainly still seems to be that way. So let's turn it 90 degrees to the front. Sits there pretty still. Let's turn it 90 degrees to the back. Coming up. Coming up. Oh, Alright, so it's looking like it's still light. Now I'm going to turn it 180 degrees. So it's not enough weight difference to get it bumped off, but once we get it moving, it should come around. So that's what it's doing right now. All right, so we know that the top is still light and the bottom is still heavy, but which side of the bottom is heaviest? Is it leaning this way or is it leaning that way? So that's what we need to find out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the light to 90 degrees to the front and still moving. Let's try 45. not coming quite as far back. So what that's telling me by where it's moving back to, it's telling me that this is coming back around right to the bottom or somewhere in between here. And it's telling me I need to drill more out of this one, which is good because that's the hole I didn't finish. I accidentally drilled this one more. So um, I'm going to hit that one about the uh, 85 thousandths that I needed to go and it should finish it right out. I meant to uh, drill this one 200 thousandths more when I put it back in, but I accidentally drilled that one. It doesn't really matter because the heavy spot was kind of centered in between them, but this is the one I meant to hit. All right, so here's where we're at currently. It's 750 RPM, the same RPM was vibrating at before. And you can see the, the coolant nozzle is almost sitting still. The light is pretty close to still. You can't really see the vibration anymore. It's just a fudge bit left. Uh, one of the things that may have been throwing me off is that the the bar actually no longer indicates true, even though Chuck still does. So obviously the bar was moving while we were um, machining on it. So I'm probably going to re-indicate it and then check it one last time in the static balancer and see if uh, it needs more if I've gone too far. But considering this chuck's only safe for about 800 RPM and it's running smooth at 750 or smooth enough, uh, this is acceptable to me. But whatever their factory tolerances were, were not acceptable. So I re-indicated that bar. So it moved about 4 thousandths and uh, lucked out because it's just perfect. And anywhere you leave it, it just stops. Has no tendency to roll. Just, just 
moving a little bit right now, but it's so insignificant that this could be counted basically as perfect. It's good enough for me.